moving its position. And that works the same. You hold down on the, on the panel that represents the plane we want to work in and move your mouse with your finger held down. That's pretty simple. The other thing is the stems themselves for the axis are used for rotation. So if you have an object selected, you can rotate it on different axes. And you imagine this axis sitting on the object. And we can go better than that. We can actually see the axis when we select. We can see that um, the object has its own axis and they are pointing along the Z, X and Y. And that will be represented by even clearer when I rotate. To rotate you click on the stem and just drag as we did before. And that's that's actually transforming the object, that's not transforming the view, that's moving the object itself. And we'll just undo that with the edit menu. Back to where it was. If you're wondering how I changed that to wire view, I'll just move our view up to here. It's on this control here. It's called the visible objects and you can select a number of different representations. If I use the points you won't be able to see anything probably. But um, just the points of the cube, the corners basically are shown. If I go back to smooth we can see a proper solid looking cube but remember that these things aren't solid, they're made up of six faces. Speaking of faces, what do I actually mean by that? Well in this cube, there are points on each corner called vertices. There are lines connecting each vertice and there are faces in between the lines and that's what makes it solid looking. The thing to remember is, each face is one-sided. If you delete a face, we can see what I mean. Over here, on the uh, tools toolbar, select the face and point selection tool. Now what this allows us to do is to um, select a point or a line or a whole face and you can delete that by pressing the delete key on your keyboard and that looks weird it uh, probably doesn't do what you expected that's because faces in 3d canvas and unless you make two faces in any other software are only one-sided We'll just undo that. Get back to the full cube. Now also each face, point and line can be manipulated with the edit control. So let's take this line. You can see I've selected that line and we'll scale it. I'll scale that line on the Y axis, so that'll make the line longer. Better view of what's going to happen when I scale that on the Y axis. You can see that the other faces are still connected to the line and they change as well. Quite interesting. I can make it so short that it just becomes a point. 
and I can get it back roughly where it was before. The other type of um, operation you can perform is the uh, rotation. Um, the rotation will affect the line in strange ways and, and you can really twist up an object by doing this. Let's try along the Y Z axis and see I just go over the the actual stem of the axis there and then twist it. Now that's twisting away from us and that's away from us and towards us. I'll undo that and we'll try along the x-axis so the line should be twisting that way and back and you can really mash up an object that way okay that's interesting enough but let's look at another primitive the sphere I'll drag a sphere onto the scene and we'll look at some operations that we can perform on the sphere. First select it and you see the edit control pop up and we can use the light colored triangular panel to transform the cube's position. We can transform the size along the y-axis and you can see that's a squashed like a tablet and you can scale it along the X and Z axis and you can see that it has its own axis when I've squashed it past its central point there you can also adjust an object's properties and scale and position by typing in the values so I'll I'll just drag and drop a cube onto the scene. Uh, the scene, by the way, is everything that's visible on the grid and everything that you've built. And um, when you save a file, it's a scene file. And if you right click on an object, there's a context menu where you can adjust, uh, well, lots and lots of things, but we're interested in the scale at the moment. We can. Um, adjust it in two different ways by amount which will be a percentage of its current size so this is um, unaffected this is a factor that's going to be multiplied on what's there at the moment so 